Vox is one of the coolest champions in the game, not even just of this year, just of all time. This dude is awesome, man. He has the coolest animations, he has such a sick design, and this man is just the epitome of edginess. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this character, and it was about time that he got ranked up to rank 5. Um, I took up Gladiator before him because of defense and by the way gladiator hasn't gotten a single kill in this entire season so that is um yeah that was a fun rank up for sure man more on him later in a separate video but that's just a whole different story that is way less positive than the story of vox because vox is a much better champion in my opinion but here is the rank 5, and now my Vox is maxed out, and funny enough, I have every single 2023 Cosmic at rank 5, and those are my only Cosmic rank 5, so that's pretty hilarious, man. Gladiator, Vox, and Adam Warlock are my 3 soul rank 5s for the Cosmic class, and they're all pretty dang cool. Um, Gladiator, of course, is a bit 50-50, but he still is a very fun champion to play, but Vox is just so, so good. So why rank 5 Vox? Well, first off, he is just insanely unique. He has one of the rarest damage forms in the game with his degen, and he has corrupted buffs, which is super cool as well. So this man just has a ton of unique stuff to bring to the contest. Additionally, top tier design, just so, so good. The wings, the skith, just everything about is it skith or scythe it's some what like the weapon that he has is so so good additionally like his little helmet thing and just the outro that he has just so beautiful this character is just so perfect design wise and then last but not least he is just a good champion he has some pretty great dj damage and it's such a rare damage form to where it's just so valuable to have and additionally, he is very easy to use, and that makes him super practical as well. So yeah, man, Vox is honestly just a really good champion. Um, I think he is maybe on par with Adam Warlock, because with Adam Warlock, while he does perform better damage-wise, he is a lot less safer to play. Of course, I feel like Adam Warlock's impracticality is a bit over-exaggerated, I feel like Vox just has zero impracticality because he's so easy to play. You get your buffs, you drop the SP1, and then you drop a special attack right before the degen expires to get intensifies, which then leads to more degen, and it's just an endless cycle of crazy degen damage. And there is pretty much no struggle whatsoever with him. So yeah, Vox is just such a good champion just really fun to play as well and really fast too and additionally he has this really really goofy mechanic where if he's awakened he gets this pre-fight and if you activate it he just doesn't dash back it's so weird but it's so cool and it's so unique no champion does this in the game besides vox and it's just it's hard to master for sure, but once you get it down, he does become a faster DPS because the degen is per buff, and that includes dexterity. So not backing down lets you dex more, which means more degens, which is more damage overall. So yeah, it's a really cool ability. It does help his damage output for sure, but the issue is how hard it is to master because yeah sometimes it's just really annoying to deal with but other times it is just so so good and it's such a great way of getting more damage output and the best thing about vox is he doesn't care about the health pool that he's going up against he works well for short fights he is great for medium fights and long fights he is absolutely crazy this man just goes crazy in every single health pool, and that's why he's such a good champion. And like Adam Warlock too, he's great for every single health pool. So I'm glad that more cosmic characters are being tuned to where they can work for pretty much any fight in the game, because that's always great to have. You never know what content is going to be the meta. Like right now it's Battlegrounds obviously, but maybe there is an Abyss 2 where you need some really powerful long form damage dealers well you have vox right here who just goes crazy with the degen damage 
when the fight is a very high healthful one. So yeah, he is prepared for the next Abyss for sure, and I cannot wait to see how he does in it. But now it's time for the SP1, and the degen damage here will just be crazy. So we drop it here, and check this out. Check how many degens we have. We have about 48 of them, and yeah, it's going to get a bit crazy in a second here. So it's already up to 6,000, now it's up to 8,000, now we're at 10,000 plus, and this is just over. He just does not stand a chance whatsoever. The degen is just so, so strong, and that was a minute and 13 seconds. Now, Vox is a pretty utility-packed character. Some of it is pretty niche and some of it is mainly for defense, but to be fair, he is a pretty bad defender because whenever he is nullified, he takes a bunch of damage output. So he is more of an attacker for sure, and he is immune to poison and a lot of power control as well, like power burn, power drain. So it's not a bad immunity set for sure. It's pretty common for a cosmic character. Like cosmic characters are known for being poison immune and power burn and drain immune. So it's nothing unique, but it still is pretty cool. But here is something that is unique. His corrupted buffs have 300% ability accuracy. So he counters neutralize. And yeah, it's weird because he is a cosmic character. He should be vulnerable to it but that's just how 2023 is with these characters they counter their like weakness class it's super weird but hey it is what it is right but check out this damage that vox is doing we have about 39 degens on him and it's ticking pretty hard now like over 10,000. we're almost at 15,000 degen already and this is just over that was upwards of 18,000 damage there at the end. And this this isn't even the maximum. It gets so much higher as well. That's, that's the crazy part about Vox. This is not his maximum potential. That's only found in like Labyrinth of Legends. But now we have the safeguard lane. And Vox, of course, is fantastic for this because he is a purely degen DPS. Well, his basic hits aren't too bad, but... In comparison to his degen damage, he really is just mainly a degen damage dealer, which I think is fine, right? Because usually I like champions that have separated DPS, but with Vox here, he has the rarest damage form in the game. So he gets an excuse for sure, man. Like having a degen as your main damage source is always such a good thing because so few champions are immune to it. And most champions that are immune to it aren't really like hard defenders anyway, besides maybe like Spider Ham. But this fight is already over. We just did one SP1 cycle and that was enough to get him down pretty much all the way. And this just seals the deal. So yeah, man, um, he's a crazy damage dealer. He really is. And he works for every single health pool, which is even better. But now we have this auto block fight and Vox has access to Vigilance on the SP2 and Undermine on the SP1. Now, Undermine is really, really good because it counters the True Lies node because True Lies doesn't affect Undermine and Penny Parker also gets countered by Undermine. So that's pretty cool. He is a great auto block counter. And while the Vigilance is great as well, you do need two bars of power for it. So it does have like a bit of, it's not really the best thing out there, but he does so much stuff anyways that that one little piece doesn't really matter when you have so much other stuff going on with the champion. But Luke Cage here is a bit annoying because of the indestructible. It does kind of counter Vox in a sense because it takes away a lot of degen damage. But besides that, it's pretty much a nothing fight and the undermine is up pretty much permanently. Now with Vox, once you drop the corresponding special attack, the Vigilance and the undermine are pretty much permanent. So that is a really, really good pro to the champion. There is like no duration on it. It just lasts indefinitely. So that is fantastic. Always great to have champions that just have a permanent piece of utility, though the Vigilance does require two bars of power, which is a bit annoying, but besides that, it's still really, really good. And this fight is just about wrapped up. We drop the Relic here, we go in, we drop the SP2, 
and yeah the degen is just doing so much damage now that he is he's done and yeah vox is just a fantastic character great damage output great utility very easy to play and just has some top tier animations just the perfect champion man like everything that you want in a champion he has it so yeah vox a standout champion this year for sure incredible overall so love me your thoughts on vox and yes about it for me